Hello everyone, I am Karthik, Assistant Professor of Mathematics, SNS College of Engineering. In this lecture video, I will explain about introduction of integration. Okay, what is integration? Integration is a fundamental concept in calculus that deals with finding the accumulation of quantities over a given interval. It is the reverse process of differentiation. Importance of integration in mathematics area and volume calculation integration allows us to find area under under curves and the volume of the irregular shapes accumulation and rate of change integration helps in calculating accumulated quantities such as total distance traveled total mass or total revenue etc solution of differential equations Many differential equations are solved using integration techniques. Probability and statistics. Integration is used in probability theory and statistics to calculate probabilities, expected values and cumulative distributive function. Types of integrals. We have several types of integrals in commonly. First one is definite integral. The definite integral represents the area under a curve between two specified limits denoted by integral a to b f of x dx it yields a specific numerical value second one indefinite integral it is also known as antiderivative the indefinite integral represents a family of functions whose derivatives is the integrand it is denoted by f of x integral f of x dx and it includes a constant of integration. Third one, improper integral. An improper integral involves integrals with indefinite limits or integrals with integrands that become unbounded with the interval of integration. Line integral. Line integrals are integrals along curves in a vector field representing quantities such as work, circulation or flux. <coughs> basic integration rules there are some basic integration rules are here power rule integral x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c <coughs> where n not equal to minus 1 second one constant rule integral k into dx equal to kx plus c where k is a constant the integral of a constant is the constant multiplied by the variable of integration sum rule <coughs> integral f of x plus g of x dx equal to integral f of x dx plus integral g of x dx the integral of a sum is the sum of integrals difference rule integral f of x minus g of x dx equal to integral f of x dx minus integral g of x dx the integral of a difference is the difference of the integrals next one constant multiple rule Integral k into f of x dx equal to k into integral f of x dx, <coughs> where k is a constant. Exponential rule. Integral e power x dx equal to e power x plus c. Next, techniques of integration. There are several techniques of integration used in calculus. Yeah. Substitution method. This technique involves substituting a variable to simplify the <coughs> integral function. It is particularly useful in integration composite functions or expressions involving nested functions. Next, integration by parts. Integration by parts is a technique derived from the product rule for differentiation. Trigonometric substitution. Trigno trigonometric substitution involves using trigonometric identities to simplify integrals <coughs> contains radicals. For example, integral sorry root of a square minus x square root of <coughs> x square plus a square or root of x square minus a square partial fraction this technique is used to decompose rational functions to simpler fractions trigonometric integrals these integrals can be evaluated using trigonometric identities by expressing them in terms of other trigonometric functions <coughs> Applications of integration. 
in physics kinetics mechanics electromagnetism thermodynamics etc in kinematics integration is used to calculate displacement velocity and acceleration in mechanics integration helps in determining work energy and momentum in electromagnetism integration is fundamental in calculating the electric and magnetic fields thermodynamics integration is used to calculate heat transfer entropy change and thermodynamic dynamic quantities in engineering structural analysis <coughs> in structural analysis integration helps in calculating forces movements and deflections in electrical engineering integration is used in circuit analysis signal processing and control system in mechanical engineering integration is used to do fluid dynamics heat transfer and vibration in civil engineering integration is used to calculating volumes areas and uh, irregular shapes in surveying biology and medicine integration is used in modeling biological processes for example population growth enzyme kinetics and drug confusion <coughs> drug diffusion in computer science and data analysis statistics geography and geology there are just a few examples highlighting the broad spectrum of applications in integration thank you